So here we are uh, with poor lighting, um, but you should be able to see me probably well enough. Uh, do you want to point that lamp at me, like like you're filming me style? Oh, you're, yeah. you're welcome to, like full on at me. Now you can see me. Good time. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> like all the time, it, it gets dark. Yeah. At the end. Great. So now you can see my hands. Um, so we did the alternates and hybrids, which I don't really feel like I need to talk about that Is much. That recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, you know, so we're doing this thing here where we dip up and use that, and, you know, it's just more conducive to, to playing an actual guitar phrasing. Um, and, you know, two and the three, we, you're going to understand those when you get home, and I wrote them all down. Um, but what we're essentially doing is eliminating the weird middle finger start notes and eliminating the pinky reaches. Uh, you know, number three, dipping back here, just doing that. Number two, where you're kind of get to there and then advance. Anyway, so you'll work on those. Um, the main exercise you're doing this week is like sectional playing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and probably starting in C A minor and then doing it in other keys might be the easiest thing because uh, that's how it's most easily recalled for you. You want to make sure you just don't do it only in C. Mm -hmm. So like what we were doing is like, all right, I'm at the fifth fret C. So I was like, here's C, I got my main blues box with three on top of it. And you don't have to go as, you know, up on one and down the other. point is you just map out, here's the stuff I would play. Then up to pentatonic two with four on top of it. And then back into number two, or, you know, you can, and we want to make sure that you go, sometimes you go backwards and then, you know, in front of it. So yeah, like kind of there you go. And then, you know, another common one would be, let me pick a root on, the fifth string instead. So here's D, um, and so I'd be in like the diatonic one. So that's me like playing in D right here, which has the behind the box finger on it. Okay. And then I'd be up into my main pentatonic box with three on top of it, up into. So this is the same thing we just did. Um, we just started with. And then ended up uh, anyway. So yeah, like root notes on this the sixth and fifth string. It, just doing it in C until that gets kind of comfortable, and then everywhere else is fine. So it's gonna literally just be like, okay, what about around here? Bank. I'm doing this one and that one. We're looking at really solidify the overlaps and um, just get used to thinking about them. You know, like as though you were soloing in that area of the fretboard, and also totally be soloing. Put on a song in a key, play against it, do highly nuanced stuff. Don't just play single notes, even if it totally sucks. Just suck. Yeah, yeah suck. Um, cool. So about three minutes in to your video, we talked uh, about um, you know the opens, and that's something that you totally get. Uh, when we're doing something like, you know, F, or in plane 4, you know, it's really clear how to do the thing, right? Same with C, where I'd be playing 7. But then we get something like E, where I'm doing this 5. You kind of want to do it where you favor your strong fingers sometimes here, then do the awkward part, and then go back to favoring. So this is the only part that's unique for every key, is what we do in first position. Um, and like I was saying, it, it informs your rhythm playing, in terms of like, here's all the dots that I could hit with obviously you know, playing chords, and then you went stuff around it, um, and a lot of stuff that you probably would already do, uh, as well as I was playing, you know, or whatever, however quickly, or so yeah, the opens exist. Um, and that's kind of what you're doing. We've got these exercises, uh, two string climb and stuff, which you totally understand. And that's an ongoing project, uh, and threes and fours as well. You want to make sure to do some of them. Uh, but your main tasks this week are learn the Elton hybrids and then mainly be doing this, you know, playing here and then behind it and just being, you know, the sectional playing exercise. Um, and making sure to do it the opposite of what feels intuitive. If it feels intuitive to go pentatonic, diatonic in one spot, do it the other way. 
because um, that's the point, is just being able to launch into any fingering anywhere in whatever key, and then see what's ahead of it and what's behind it. So we've got this thing, Two String Climb, where we're actually putting all seven of them together, versus this one where it's kind of like I'm soloing in this area of the fretboard, just getting used to thinking about it. I know you understand it, just bears repeating, that's why we're doing this. Um, cool. And then that's kind of what we did. Um, but learn, cool. you know, just be sure you really can do a plan point. Um, diatonic and pentatonic, like in your sleep, before mm -hmm. you try any of this stuff. Uh, like you should, okay. you should still have brain farts, but it shouldn't be like I completely forget what to do, and then can't then have to look, look back to see to figure it out. Uh, good shit.